Welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw Space Gar, the talking spaceship from my comic books. I'm going to complete a page from Jesus number three where Space Gar emerges from black hole vortex. Then I'll show you how to draw Space Gar from a side view perspective. Pretty soon I'll show you some more specifics like anatomy, eyes, cartoon lobsters, narwhals, dolphins, and tacos. But until then, let's draw Space Gar. So I'm drawing a shot of Space Gar emerging from Black Hole Vortex. So you'll learn how to draw Black Hole Vortex and Space Gar in this video, but I'm gonna change my original sketch. Actually, the more I'm looking at that, the more I wanna take it from a different perspective. I'm gonna look at it in this way. Let's think here, one, two, and that and then it's gonna be like this right. there see <laughs> isn't that a great drawing it's art it's avant-garde It may not make sense to you. In my mind, I kind of know what I'm looking at here. Um, I, want, I want it to look like Space Gar is just like punching through a hole here in space. So we're gonna cut out the old sketch layer, put on a new layer there, drop that one way down. We're gonna come up here with the G-Pen Streamline, which will give me nice clean lines I can fill, make it bigger. And there, I'm gonna put Space Gar exploding out of Black Hole Vortex, which is a power that he learned after defeating the Cosmic Death Bricks in Lord Carnage Book One. Basically folding space. So he's going from one side of the universe the other in mere moments, or according to Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, book one, I think the length of one Kenny Loggins song. So, not a very complex design. Space Gar, a lot of people mistakenly believe that Space Gar is based on the Opa Opa from Fantasy Zone, and that is not true. There's obviously a bit of resemblance, but that was not what I had in mind. The original idea behind Space Gar is that he's uh, the tr like the triangle from Asteroids. But then I gave him a window and lasers and some more personality. So he starts to look like Opa Opa, but he's more old school. Opa Opa's 80s. Space Gar is all about 70s. Just like me. Well, I'm also about the 80s. Never mind. Disregard that. I'll cut that out in editing. But there's not editing here, so never mind. I won't cut that out in editing. I will, however, continue drawing. May not look like much yet. But it should look like something when I'm done. It's an opening page, a splash page. Does not need to be particularly technical. It just needs to look cool. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. 
mm -hmm. there you go. Add new layer. I take this old layer and delete that. Clean up some space. New layer, we're just gonna be black. Black, 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 and black. I'm debating if I want to keep this part here. Normally I draw a space or the black hole vortex with just three pillars of light, but that, I mean, there's no reason it couldn't be more. Just in the context of this shot, is that doing what I want it to do or is it look sloppy? I don't know yet. Cause there's gonna be plot up here. I'm gonna keep it the way it is at the moment. Cause we're gonna put a bunch of digital effects in here. If it doesn't look right, I'll go back and fix it. Let me go back here. Down here to uh, luminance, we're gonna pick up nebula, which is a nice effect. Makes things look cool. Minimal effort. <laughs> so much of this is just trial and error. There we go. And I'm also going to add some stars. There in my space brush set. Can you see the stars? Put some stars in there. A big sound effect here, even though there's no sound in space. Don't tell Space Scar. And could just leave it like that. Clean that line up a little bit. This line up a little bit. Started drawing on the wrong layer, but that's okay. Not a big deal since it's not a com complex page. Come down here, we're gonna go to grab manga. I'm gonna go with my screen toner C. I'm gonna put a little bit on space guard here. And that's pretty much what I need for the page. So, not a very complicated page. But, if for some reason you would like to draw your own space car, let's do a step by step walkthrough since that last drawing was not particularly complicated. Space car is pretty easy. 
he rarely shows emotion in the same way that Jesus or Red Station One does. In fact, that's part of what makes his character funny is he's, he's dry and generally kind of um, needy. He likes attention. He always wants to be a video game hero. But he doesn't really, his expression doesn't change when he's speaking to other people. So it's fun to, sh fun to draw him at the bar or something with Jesus. Because the other ones are all pretty expressive. You know, and he'll just be sitting there with like a margarita glass. Like that, for example. With just a straw going in here. <laughs> and I just think that's kind of funny. Like that's a le that's a legit shot of space car right there, and sometimes I'll put a shadow underneath them like this. But let's do a second layer here, Franks. Keep my studio pen, increase the width a bit. Simple design, kind of like a triangle. But not really. Like a gumdrop almost. Depending if he's depending on his angle, the angle that you're viewing him. You got two laser guns in front. Tucked in beneath them there. One, two, three vents in the back. cockpit canopy which does slide open to reveal a two-seater spaceship perfect for Jesus and wind squid or edit station one from time to time and the cockpit canopy does have rivets because everything good has rivets For the final drawing here, I'm going to omit the margarita glass, which is a shame, I know, but it's only Tuesday. Though it is 5 o'clock Friday somewhere. Anything is possible when you can defy the laws of space and time with black hole vortex, after all. So technically, Black Hole Vortex does not actually defy, defy the laws of time. Hang on, I, I spoke too soon on that one. There is a little bit of rationality in my thought, but not much. Okay, well, you can clean up the design as much as you want. I'm not going to do a whole lot here, but put the shading on uh, this canopy. Depending on uh, what software I'm using, what program, what the book is, what the shot is, I'll do this differently. Frequently I'll just use um, like a halftone pattern, but in this case I'm going to go in here with uh, something a little fancier. Go with a gouache. And just get a little bit of texture in there. And I don't normally color Space Scar's body, but technically he's green, so you can put a little gray on there as well. He's comprised of vector graphics after all. There we go, Space Gar. Hero to billions.
And he can speak German. Forgot about that. He did learn that in Lord Carnage Book 1 as well. That was fun because Spacegar emerges from Black Hole Vortex after traveling the entire length of the universe just to arrive in Truxton, New York. It's a real place. No relation to this. Keep on Truxton. I'll see you next time!